Hey, YouTube Rando here. Oh, man, you're going to have to forgive me for the wind. Uh, I'm trying to block it to the best of my ability. Uh, we're out at the lake today, and I thought, what better time to do a VR? Uh, 704 Tactical. I'm going to leave a link below to his channel. Uh, is doing his 1,000 sub giveaway. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. Um, I haven't been a sub of his for a real long time, for a couple months now. Uh, but I have been enjoying his videos for a while now. And, uh, you know, he puts out good content. So go check him out. If you like what you see, sub him up. All that good stuff. Uh, but he's having his giveaway. And his question was, what is your go-to firearm? Uh, now, if you would have asked me that question, again, I know the wind's horrible right now. I'm trying to block it. Uh, best I can but it, it's probably not working I'm on a tablet here I usually uh, I used to shoot all my videos with a camera and it was easy to go outside because you could just take a band-aid and cover up the mic and it acted like a windsock uh, well on a tablet that's kind of hard to do so uh, I know it's windy I apologize but anyways where was I uh, your go-to firearm if you'd asked me that question a year and a half year and a half ago I would have pulled out a full-size firearm it would have been the uh, p95 dc or the glock 17 those were my two edc guns uh i loved them both i uh, still love them but i do have a new carry arm and uh or carry firearm and it would be my go-to uh this is what i grab anytime i leave the house it is the springfield xds9 Gives you the feel of a full-size weapon, but it's nice and uh, compact. Compact for me, anyway. I know some people would say that's a subcompact, but it's a nice compact firearm for me, considering I was used to carrying a full-size. I'm a big guy, uh, so I can carry a full-size firearm, no problems. But, uh, like I said, I went to the XDS. Uh, I'm loving it. I'd like to get it in 40 cal next and uh, carry that one for a little while. Uh, just kind of beef up the ammo a little bit, but it's an awesome gun. Uh, I think we're fixing to head out of here. I see the kids are wandering off over there kind of far. So I'm gonna call them in and we're gonna go ahead and hike this trail back. It's getting windy and skies are looking kind of gray. I don't know if you can see that or not, but looking fairly cloudy and looking kind of gray, so. Looks like we might be headed in for some rain, or headed for some rain, rather. Uh, it's been supposed to be raining here for the past three days. We've hiked every day. It hasn't rained one day, so uh, it is uh, real wet on the trail. I know when it rains, we won't be able to do this for a week or so, and, you know, I really like coming out to the lake. Uh, and there's easier ways to get to the lake. You know, you can drive right up to the lake. There's spots all around town you can get to the lake and drive right up to it. But I really like this little hike. Like I said, it gets my kids out of the house, so that's nice. Uh, but 704 Tactical, man, go check them out. Like I said, link below. It's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.